Welcome back guys. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to JB ADV. My name is Jacob. We are currently on the CRF 250L putzing around some of my local trails today. Uh, I didn't end up heading out going like an hour and a half away to some other trails to meet up with some friends. Um, that's my fault. I woke up too late. And also, I kind of want to learn some of these trails here. And to be honest, it's not the best day out today. You guys can see it's a little windy, but the wind is kicking up. Back here, it's not so bad. But the wind is slowly kicking up, and it gets a little chilly. I don't have my big jacket on, my nice new jacket on today. Because uh, I don't expect to be out too long. But the goal today was to just kind of follow these power line trails. And as you guys can see, there's trails that split off in all different directions around here. So the goal today is to just kind of take it easy, try to learn where all these trails go, maybe find a cool little line, a couple cool little paths or tracks through, you know what I mean? Just try to get comfortable with some areas because this is only like three minutes away from my house. So it's really quick and easy to get here and uh, have some fun maybe after work one day or something or so on and so forth, you know. So thank you for joining me guys as I turn myself around here. Now, if you guys watched my little five minute video of the teaser trailer, if you take this path all the way down and straight in front of us, um, that's the hill climb that takes you up to the overlook that you guys might have remember seeing. So we'll probably make our way up there, but I'm gonna take it slow today. Um, maybe push myself in some areas, but um, I'm just looking around to try to find where some of these trails go. Uh, like that like where does that go like should we just start branching off and exploring maybe like uh, I don't know just adventuring our way through the woods just to see where we can go I like these like uh, open paths and stuff I do don't get me wrong but I'm looking yeah like let's just like shoot up this like where does this go we're gonna find out so sit back guys and enjoy the adventure with me here as we try to figure out where all oh, actually I think I do know where this goes oh, Like what's over here? I don't know. Looks like a little clearing Oh, yeah, look people have fires back here. That's cool. Oh, yeah Oh people's target practice back here. It looks like lots of shells and stuff on the ground. So that's cool This is nice 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 clearing actually if this was like really cleared out if you took like a like a couple minutes to just really clear this all out. It'd be a really cool little campsite, to be honest with you. Oh, there's a Jeep. Check it out. There's a Jeep going up top, a couple of them. That's cool. That's really cool. So as you guys can see, uh, I'm trying to keep a distance. I don't have anybody with me today. Um, the crackdowns are a little harder. Ooh, this is a nice rock. Let's make it up this. So I'm just trying to keep my distance and uh, not really get too close to anybody. Just try to do some something that's somewhat safe. That was cool. Hey, look, there's another trail that branches off that way. That's actually pretty cool. We might take that just to see really quick. Kind of just overlooks where we just were, I think. So let's make our way through this. I don't know how deep it is. Oh, it's not bad at all. And we're just going to keep moving our way through the woods. So if you guys join me on my live stream, my last one, last Friday, that was a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me. We had some cool conversations. Got to uh, talk to a couple of you that were new, which was awesome. Wow, it is getting muddy, huh? Looks like we got a cut through path right here, though. Make our way around. I don't know. Oh yeah, right around. It's like someone came back here with like a chainsaw and actually like cleared some of these. See like, look at that. I'd almost like to just blaze that trail and figure out my own way. <laughs> Oop. So I have not taken this trail. I made my way all the way up to there at one point and then I just stopped riding. So I have not taken, look, there's another trail that goes off that way. I don't know, there's just trails everywhere, man. So we're just gonna follow this. Oh my gosh. Wow. These are some heavy duty trails, man. Wow. It looks like this is gonna be a pain. Oh yeah. 
I don't know how deep this is. Uh, I see a water bottle, so it shouldn't be too bad. Nah, we're good. Get up this. It looks wet. Looks like someone just came up this. We've hit a fork. Which way do we go? Do we go downhill? Or do we go up? Well, I like going up, so I think that's what we're gonna do. I might be able to get speed to hit second here. Yep. I wonder if you guys can hear the rocks kicking up and hitting the bottom of this thing. Skid plate, brush guards, I know, I know. I know you guys are sitting at home right now if you follow any of my videos and you're saying, dude, where's this guy's skid plate and brush guards? Why does he just not use them? I know, I know guys. I'm almost thinking it's just a, uh, I'm almost thinking it's just a funny joke for all of us at this point. Oh, that's cool. A lot of people just throw garbage down there, huh? Eh. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm having fun exploring. That's my song for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is definitely social distancing if you were by yourself. Ooh, this is kind of cool up here. Ooh, I like this up here, man. Oh, this is cool. You're like really secluded. Check out this badass pit up here. Oh, yeah. Right up that. Oh, yeah, look, that's where I just came up. Oh, I'd almost want to just, like, meander my way through these. You guys can see, this is kind of like an overlook already. If you can see through these, I don't know how the, if the camera's picking all that up, but right to the left of this tree. Some homes and stuff. See, this is what's nice about having the stock exhaust, guys. Is that I'm like incognito up here. Like you really can't hear this bike. I'm gonna go check this out again. Let's check this out. So this is probably uh, one of my first little ed solo adventures that you guys are witnessing actually. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, it is. This is my first little solo adventure that you guys are, are uh, witnessing. Now these are just, you know, like I said, woods a couple minutes from my house, but but I've never been up here. So check this out. This is pretty cool. They actually have a thing. I don't think waste management comes up here to collect this though. <laughs> so, but this is a really cool hangout spot, man. I would totally come up here again. I don't recommend starting a fire now, even though you guys see all the wetness around. It's it's actually pretty dry. And to be honest, with all these pine needles, I would like sweep all these pine needles away. I think first before I did that, but maybe that's just me. But. I don't think there's a trail that goes back. No, it's just this little hill climb here. That's cool though. So let's go um, back this way. Pretty sure this trail just took us to this dead end. That's pretty much it. I mean, I'm sure we could start blazing our own trails and stuff, but once I start to know where every trail goes, then I'll be all right. You know what I mean? Hey, I can make this. This is a little cut around for the mud. That's cool. I wish I saw that before. Not that it really matters, though. This mud ain't bad right now. Yep, some cliffs. So I think what we're going to do is stay to the left here. And try to go up more. Wow, this gets pretty intense, huh? Ooh. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was fun, actually. Oh, cool, there's a tree house up here. That's pretty cool. I don't think anybody's ridden this trail. It doesn't look like anybody's ridden this trail. That's pretty run down, but it's pretty cool. Looks like somebody's got like a, oh no, I think it's just the way the tree fell. I was gonna say, it almost looks like a trail splits off and it's over there. I'm sure there's so many more trails back here, guys. It's actually easier to see the trails when there's leaves, I think, because it almost makes like tunnels, you know? 
So let's uh, let's keep going up this. See uh, what we got going on up here. Oh, I just saw some fresh tracks. I see the leaves are moved. So someone was up here. Wow, okay. Um, so we could either go up that, which I think I know where this is gonna eventually take us, but I'm not sure. Um, or that. I think I'm gonna try to blaze all the way up this. It's kind of fun. This is, uh, for the record, I am in second gear. Lugging it a little bit, but second gear on the 1442, going up this nice rocky trail, and it's handling it no problem. Okay, so I saw just a second ago another trail split off. Now I'm seeing this one, but I think those look like Jeep marks, to be honest with you. Yeah, uh, but there's no way a Jeep's that skinny. I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like a Jeep tire tread, though. I don't think a Jeep... Well, no, a Jeep would make it through here if it was like a Wrangler, I think. Probably no problem. Woo! Here's another trail. Blue. Blue trail. Someone marked it blue. This looks like, almost like a clearing up here. We'll continue up there, but I just want to check this out. It's a very defined trail. Now, whoa. Now that's a hill climb, huh? Oh, I'm so deterred. Once again, guys, I told you it was going to be random today. I wasn't sure where I'd be or not. I don't know how deep this is. I don't really see a clear way to get around it. I think we're all right. I see a log there though. The problem is you never know what's under there. There could be one jagged rock and then you just fling out, you know? But we're gonna start. We're good. Whoa. Now, I didn't expect to see that. That is cool. That is really cool. I'm liking how back here, there's just like a lot of like split offs. And then you come up a little hill and you got a cool little hangout. All right. Well, we will continue the way we were going to find out where it goes. So I pretty much, if I was to be on this trail, let's see, we split off that main trail when we first came in. I took that right, followed that up, and then took one left and one right. And that pretty much took me up here. I have very good memory when it comes to stuff like this. Um, I just have to take my time and really remember it. Oop. Um, so I'm just trying to remember, like, this is a fun little climb, to be honest. There's so many more trails, guys. That is crazy. But I like climbing up the mountain. Eventually, I have to get to that overlook, just in a different way. So if there's a more challenging way to get to the overlook that I already thoroughly enjoy, I want to know it. Starting to mellow out here. Starting to mellow out. All right. Oh, we're we going back down now? Huh. All right. Uh, we'll find out where we're at. This is a cool tunnel. I don't know where we are going, guys. Wow. This is yellow now. Okay. So the other one was blue. This is yellow. Not that I know what any of those mean because I'm not the one who marked them. And it's not like these are like public maps, but at least I know if I have to, because I don't, I mean, I can whip out my phone and check GPS just to see where exactly in relation to the mountain I am, 
but I'll be able to figure out my way back eventually. Oh, this trail's nice and wet. Try to get up over here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that wasn't the play. Maybe the play is to just go through it. That was a lot deeper than I thought. Wow, that was deceiving. Huh. Well, now we have three decisions. Oh, boy. Uh, I think the goal right now is to... Huh, I hear some more quads. I think the goal right now is either A, run into somebody back here and ask them where I am, or check my phone. Okay, so I just ran into some people in the woods, and they told me to go this way, pretty much. Now, they came from that way. They said to just keep following this out, and I will hit, whoop, almost hit my head there. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, look, I was like two feet away from something really badass, guys. Wow, that water looks super, super, like, emerald almost. It's super clear. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, man, I wonder if there's a better view of this. Probably, oh, there's a trail that goes that way. But then there's that trail. I don't know if you guys can see this without me getting off. But you could see straight down that water. You probably can't on the camera. But wow, you can see like almost straight down that water. And there's a huge log right there too. I wonder what kind of crazy fish are in there. Wow, stuff you find back here, huh? You never know what you're going to find. So I hope you guys are enjoying this little adventure so far. I am. I'm having a lot of fun. Just exploring. Oh my water. Uh, maybe that's why they didn't come this way. Uh, well, if I get down to those trails, I could probably follow it up. I kind of want to figure my way through this. I know that's probably dumb. But, what if it's not actually as bad as we think it is? Oh, that's pretty deep, actually. Oh, yeah. That's down to, like, oh, boy. We could always find a different way back. Oh, we got it. We got it. Blast this one. Yeah, we're good. There's that water again from a different view. All right, we got it. I'm not worried. Hit this puddle. All right, now is the question of left or right. Right looks a little bit more like open and tame. Maybe I'll see something cool this way. It's very open woods now. Yeah, it looks like you could easily go around this. Uh, this is cool. It almost makes me feel like I could like come back here and figure out like a nice line for like a track back here to like really practice some stuff. Like, look, you could just start venturing everywhere. The guy said just follow the trails. Trust me. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Well, this got this got pretty crazy. I actually just bottomed the bike. Over over this little guy. I don't know if you can see him. Hear that or he came up and just hit the bottom of the bike. Um I'm gonna back up and try actually Yeah, we're gonna back up. Try to get a little bit more speed because I'm kinda like wedged in on this rock now. <laughs> so this is super technical, huh? Oop. I think once I could get mo like moving, I'll be good. Oh yeah, I think we got it now. Oh yeah. Uh, huh. I'm gonna see which way this goes. Uh, maybe this is the way they came. I have a feeling. Ooh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I kind of have to go either up crazy rocks or around some crazy mud. Um. Huh. 
That is so much softer than you could ever imagine. That is just me spinning for the record. Wow. I don't know if I'm getting through that though, so we might have to venture on our own trail here. Oh. Ah. Did the clutch lever go that time? Maybe. No, it didn't. <clears throat> I didn't know there was a crazy rock under there. That's all right. You know what? If that's the first fall of the day, I think I'll take it. <laughs> to be honest. <sighs> Why is this bike so heavy? Asks every... CRF 250 owner out there. There we go. All right, let's get back on this horse. Woo! Need a break after that one. I just slipped in that. See where I was spinning, trying to get going, and it just kicked right out. Ah, fun times. I think we're gonna try to. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can make. Oh yeah. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. I'm not very good at those, but I got it that time. Oh, I'm taking a, a tree with me. Cool. Come on, tree, you're coming with me. Maybe. I wonder where that goes. I didn't see another way up. <laughs> Woo! See, that's what you gotta watch for. This looks like a more promising way, though. Over a little log here. Boop. Okay. Now, if I venture up this way, looks like some people have in the past. Like that, we're right back where we were. All right. Oh, oh boy. Trails can be rough sometimes. So I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the adventure with me. Because I don't know where I'm going. So I came up that way. I guess the idea would be to go that way now. It is increasing in mud as I, which is crazy as I go up the mountain. It's actually increasing in mud. Oh, it's promising. Oh yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, I'll stop right there. I just saw that stick. Last minute, if I made it up there to that stick, that would have been a not a fun time. Looks like I take the left here though. You know what guys? I may have dropped it before. But this is what makes you a better rider. I mean, it just does. Oh wow, why did I go this way? This is just what makes you a better rider. You gotta figure out what to do in some of these situations. Oh, uh, definitely looks like power lines coming up. Oh, thanks, neutral. Hell yeah, definitely some power lines. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's, uh, wow, huh. That is a cool view of Scranton. That is. All right, so I, 
I do see some quads coming down this way. Huh. This is really the only thing to do, I think, right now in social distancing time. Get out and try to enjoy the woods as best as you can, as long as you're acting in a safe manner. I'm not trying to uh, crowd up a parking lot. I'm not trying to do anything. So, you know, I'm trying to be safe, keep my distance from other people. Um, so let's just take a look after that fall. Make sure nothing bad happened here. Take a look. Clutch lever's okay. It fell in mud. I know, guys, brush guards, I know. Stop. Yell at me in comments, please. It keeps you guys active. You guys are always yelling at me. So, yep, I'm out of breath. A lot of fun. This thing's whooping my butt. Today it is, anyway, all those rocks. Not the beginning section with all those rocks going up, because we were keeping a good steady flow, but it started to get more technical. But you know what? I like it, because uh, I may drop it here or there, but you know what? i got to get a better rider. And I never said I was a great rider. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. So I'm going to leave it right here. I know we said we are going to make it to the Overlook. That takes us to the Overlook. we got to go up there, I think, and take a left, because I know the main trails, because these show up on Google Maps. And here comes a quad just ripping down here. Looks fun. So if you guys enjoyed this content, there will be a part two to this. Because why not? Because I like making the videos for you guys. And you guys seem to be enjoying the trail videos so far. So this is just part one of my solo adventure today. I'm trying to get out. It's actually getting nicer out. The wind kind of seemed to calm down. So if you guys enjoyed this, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. And leave a like if you enjoyed this in any way, shape, or form. I am going to continue up there. And you guys are going to have to wait for episode 2 for that. So uh, stay tuned and I will see you guys soon. Take it easy.